Hey guys, and welcome to a recall guide for the RSAS. This build is going to be based off the one that you get from Peacekeeper at tier 4. So as we're on tier 4, we need to get ourselves the HKE1 stock, as well as the Lantec Dragon 7.62 muzzle brake. We then need to go down tier 3 and get ourselves the blast mitigation device and the direct thread adapter. We then need to head over to Skia, go to tier 4, and get ourselves the RK24 grip. We then need to next go over to Mechanic, tier 2, and get ourselves the Remington RAHG 4 inch guide. Then we need to get ourselves the Magpul M bus front and rear sight. We then need to go to tier 3 and get ourselves the HK enhanced buffer tube. Then over to tier 4, get ourselves the Ecotech EXPS3 holographic site. The reason why I say this is the best is because of 3% inaccuracy. And then the crazily OP uh, PSG1 style foregrip that gives 18 ergo. Pistol grip, sorry. Now let's put all of this together. And there we go. This is the lowest recoil build of the Remington Arsas. Okay, so now we're in the hideout. Let's do a standing test. That should actually help if we had a magnet gun. This thing sounds so good, but not that great a recoil. Next, long distance. With all DMRs, the best thing to do is just tap fire because you have so much more recoil control. So guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. The recoil is actually pretty low on this gun. The, the thing is with these is that you got the M1A that can hold a 50 round mag. And then if you want to go for Lotto, just grab yourself the SA58. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this guide found this, hopefully you guys found this guide useful. And hopefully this gun as well will hopefully bring you some success. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.